it's been entirely Javi in this matchup. Uh, it's seven and zero oh in Javi's favor, so uh, definitely a little bit rough. Um, but before we ever get there, uh, we're going to be getting into our next match on the stream, which is going to be Gummy versus Adrian. Yeah, we have another Mexico City against Puebla match. Gummy, uh, he's from the Mexico City side, but the defender, the top four of, of this region, Puebla, is now with Steve. He used to be a Lucina main, uh Inkling main, but but after Steve releasing the game, ain't careful with, uh, because... Uh, Walt, uh, uh, forward smash, it's it's really good damage. Yeah, uh, G Gummy did a fantastic job there. Just got a nice little read, just charged it all up, and uh, Adrian just kind of fell right into that. But we'll see if they're able to keep that pressure up. Steve, another one of those characters, once they find that opening, they can just continue to pile on damage and just create a lot of problems for you, especially off stage. Okay, careful Whoa. over there, and that's the down smash. Gonna take that stock and return to the game to the neutral. 30% now. The Enderman user over here, careful mm -hmm. with those combos, deep combos off, offline, AX this, so you have to be careful with that. Mm -hmm. Gummy's kind of been really favoring uh, recovering back to stage using the Wolf Flash, and I think they do need to be careful with that because eventually Adrian could very well scout that out, you know, using the down smash or potentially a down tilt. Um, so they do. Ooh, wow, I really like that. That was clean. Using the Elytra and actually getting a ledge cancel to just immediately act out of it. That was really nice. Okay, let's see. There's a blaster in the game, but who can take the first stock after after the return of Adrian on the neutral? Careful, careful. Again Ooh. with that forward smash, but nothing happened. Steve doesn't have like a uh, really fast option with, uh, against uh, Wolf uh, forward smash, but there's the up smash. Obviously, kind of take it. It's so so strong this move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that up smash absolutely ridiculous, and gonna be able to close out that second stock, keeping this lead in their favor. But the minecart not gonna be enough. You won't be able to survive another one of those. That is for sure. Going for the TNT, and I really like that. They set it up so that if they rolled in, they would have got caught by the TNT. If they did got up, they still would have got caught. And so they had to go for the jump option and it forced them right to the up smash. But oh my goodness, trying to end it all and not going to be able to. Gummy barely surviving here. Careful with that. And uh, Adrian was going all for those combos, but still making uh, great damage over there. Careful with those. That was smash. That was uh, Gummy's prep tonight on, on the last talk. Mm -hmm. But let's okay. see. Ooh. Give gets to grab. Okay, got to follow up with the forward air, piling on a little bit of damage. Gets to grab out of that. Okay. Gumi knows how to grab people. We saw it on the last match against City, but that it's gonna be enough. Obviously, Sim, uh, Adrian with the Samit attack. It's gonna take surprisingly that first game with with that up smash. It's really really nice from Adrian. Mm -hmm. Nah, very good stuff. Uh, gonna be able to take that game. It was looking pretty strong for Gummy, but like it didn't take long for Adrian to really turn that around. So just uh, honestly, just great stuff. That ledge trap scenario that they had too was fantastically played because they forced them to actually have to jump to the platform right to the up smash, which is just a beautiful play all around. So Adrian's doing a good job controlling the space here. We'll have to see what Gummy can bring into game two to try and find their way around it. I think they should dial it back just a little bit. Okay. They're gonna stick with the same characters over here, but now different stage battlefield. One of the classic stages here. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, Nintendo Switch. Mm -hmm. But I, I like how this match is going. Yeah, so far it's definitely very interesting. Both players are getting their hits in, but right now Gummy's kind of struggling. I mean, before that they they were a little bit struggling, but they got some good hits in there. Tried to even up the percentage just a little bit more. Uh, I hopefully Adrian isn't getting too comfortable because they they won that first game because they were taking their time. They weren't forcing anything super hard, and they allowed to get they were allowed to get a lot of great punishes on the Gummy. But if they continue to try and play this game that they're doing right now, where they're trying to go back and forth, Gummy's gonna win those. Okay. Huge damage over there, and careful because the TNT is on the game, but nothing happened. There's the grab from uh, Adrian over there, and a uh, random smash was not punished. Let's mm -hmm. see what it's going to be. Gumi options, but for now, they're just punish, punishing like little stuff. They're not, nothing, they're not doing like huge stuff for now. 
Yeah, uh, definitely uh, they could have put on a little bit more pressure. They're going to find the back air while near the middle of the stage. Won't be enough that time. That's a tough spot to be in. I wouldn't do this. Okay. <laughs> All right. It was a scary spot to be in, but they were able to find the hit and actually get Gummy away from the ledge, allowing them to get back onto the stage relatively easily. So good stuff. Very good job from Adrian so far. I like how this goes. Oh, be careful because I, I, I thought that it was a strong move from that dash attack. And... Gumi, mash out of time. Out of that side B from uh, Adrian. And it's going to be punished. No, the up B on the stage. It's going to be... Gumi was not waiting for that. And the block save, saves uh, the second, uh, the first dog. And there's going to be a huge stuff for here from Gumi. But oh. I thought they was going to, going to do that back throw. I mean, not even the back throw. They could have ran up and forward tilted. They could have down smashed. I, I think they were just kind of caught up and just trying to get some sort of punish that they went for the for the grab. Maybe it's just a uh, muscle memory at that point. But yeah, they could have taken the stock. It could have been two socks apiece right now. But that's an unfortunate position if you're gummy. But they could still find a way to even this up. Going for the up throw once again. I don't know if back throw would have killed from center stage, but it would have been close. And now you're at 74% in the second stock here. This is rough. Yeah. That, oh that's... my god. Okay. Okay. Uh, I was so scared from, from that, and uh, these two players are playing super safe. Uh, I like um, that their decision making. Uh, they they really thinking a lot during this match. They're they're not just mashing buttons. They're they're not just like doing some stuff. And that was pretty smart from Adrian over there, putting yeah. the TNT to bait him. Yeah, that was a super strong stock from Adrian. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Gummy's in a lot of trouble here. They will find the backer to, uh, you know, at least take the first stock here in game two. But the way it's going right now, Adrian's controlling so much at the stage, controlling so much at the pace and the tempo that I don't really know if Gummy has enough gas to be able to turn this around. If they can, that'd be fantastic. They kind of need it though. Okay. Um, I don't know how, it, how that's it's called uh, the down air on English for, from those deep, but. It, it, it hits. Oh uh, uh, really yeah, hard. the uh, the anvil. Okay, here in, in Spanish we say the yunque. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Ooh, I thought they're gonna go off stage for that nair, but not gonna go for it quite yet. Oh, this is a tough spot to be in, especially because of those diamond tools and that back air with the diamond on it is so so strong. Gonna be able to take out that final stock, and now you're in a tough position because you're down two zero uh, to the Steve. And Adrian, who's been playing fantastic. Last call for Gumi here. He needs to replant uh, all his, his his strategies against Adrian because Adrian is having a really good good run with this, Steve. And he could be on that top four of, of the... Uh, sorry, that top five of, of this bracket that... To be honest, it's, it's a hard bracket. But now there's a switch. There's Lucina. Lucina... Gumi's Lucina, we, we saw him winning against City. Mm -hmm. But for now, let's see how it's going to be with Steve. Or uh, Enderman in this case. I mean, Lucina's a very strong character all around as long as you got some good fundamentals. Um, it's the same, same thing with Wolf, but having these disjoints uh, and, you know, being a little floatier too, it, it could allow uh, Gummy to try and control more of the stage uh, or more of the pace here, not allowing Adrian to do anything crazy. But. You got to be able to find your hits. You got to be able to stay consistent. You got to be able to control that space, especially uh, in those ledge scenarios. Back away from the ledge, maybe go underneath the platform a little bit and just try to react to whatever Adrian does. Okay, oh. there's there's the up smash doing some damage over there. Gumi has to be careful with those IP. You know that when you are on the, that card, it's going to be a very, very dangerous position, but there's the, the near. Good stuff mm. from Gumi over there. Okay, and there we go. Uh, yeah, I mean, having a nice little bit of a lead. I mean, this is definitely a good start. They need to keep this going. But I think we saw this in game one, too, where Gummy had the lead and then Adrian just made a huge comeback. Wow, that turnaround grab. Just barely grabbing on. Oh, okay. That uh, uh, that was interesting from, from the TNT over there. But now Gummy is punishing the well. Gummy... Gummy knows that Lucina was a good option against uh, Adrian so far. Mm-hmm. 
No, for sure. Gumi's doing a fantastic job. And look at that. Going to be able to take out the second stock. Just keeping on the pressure. I mean, Steve's recovery, it's it's solid. But if you're able to go out there and throw out a strong disjointed hitboxes like Lucina has on her aerials, you're able to close out stocks pretty consistently, especially once you take some of those resources away. So great stuff from Gumi. Uh-oh. Okay. There we go. We're good. Okay. The TNT. And there is a shield break over here from Adrian. I mm. te ves. That's gonna say. And now it's taking, uh, it's taking something little by little with there. Yeah, and I mean, uh, it's certainly the game is not over. Steve just has some crazy tools and options uh, to be able to turn this around. Uh, that could be a huge one right there. Okay, getting one, two, three, going for the forward smash. Charge it probably a little too long, and it allowed Gumi to find a way out. Okay, that, that was that was really spicy. That was really really Picoso from from Adrian over there. And be careful with that up smash. It will mm -hmm. be something. He got to the, oh, there's the spike. There is there is the good stuff for Adrian. And Adrian still still dreaming that he can take this set 3-0. But I don't know. Luz, uh, Gumi's Lucina is so good so, um, for now in, in this match. But oh. things can change, Kev. Yeah, they got the diamond now. This could be huge. 47%. It only takes a couple hits for all of this to turn around. Okay, goes for one forward smash. We'll be able to get it. Gumi doing a good job getting in there, getting a grab. Keeping the pressure on to Adrian. Oh, this is getting scary. Careful with that because Lucina is so strong, especially with some moves over there. And now we're seeing the up tilt with Diamond. Diamond is on the, on the game. <laughs> Yep, Ooh. there's one there. Goes for the back here. Won't be able to get it. Gooby's in a bit of trouble. Uh, but Adrian has no more resources, I think. Oh, my God. They fall off the dancing blade. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, who can take this? Adrian or Gumi? This is so this is so close. Diamond again with the game. And careful with that side B. Mm -hmm. There's yeah, Gumi. For a grab. Oh, wow. They actually extended the hitbox with the minecart, which actually sealed the final stock for that game. That's so crazy. They probably would have survived if they didn't minecart right there. And something interesting about this matchup is that Adrian knows, he knows well how Lucina works. He used to be a Lucina main on Star Ultimate and after Steve, before Steve was out. So it was, it was pretty tough. Even that he knows the matchup, Gumi was was taking Adrian to to hard uh, spots, uh, pushing her to the limit. Now we are having a game number four here on Cannon City. And I don't know. I, I think it's weird. Um, like I feel like everybody knows the Lucina matchup, but it's just how well are you able to to get your game plan in the motion. And it seemed like. Um, uh, Adrian struggled a little bit there in that first game, but you know what? After a while, you, you realize who you're fighting against. They almost made a really big comeback at the end of that game three. So if I'm Gumi, I would not feel comfortable at all because, man, that, that game was almost gone. That, almost a 3-0. Yeah, that that was... And also, it was going to be a reverse 3-0 to talk about stocks from Adrian. Mm -hmm. But Gumi says, no, amigo, not this time. I'm still on the game, and... Let's go to a game four because I'm still hungry with this Lucina. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, wow. Recovered right to the platform. Dropped the shield. The back air will clean it up too. Those closer blast zones on the side. It's definitely a tough spot here. But nice little turn around grab. All right. Tried to get Gumi off stage. All right. Actually, just good stuff from Gumi to be uh, opting to go right to the ledge instead of trying to challenge uh, Adrian in any way uh, at all. But look at this damage. Okay. Gumi still have a great advantage over there. Oh, oh, okay. That that's gonna take the stock. TNT is responsible for a lot of stocks here from Adrian during all this tournament. And careful with the shield over there. The side B with that redstone. It's it's a really good option to to make some shield pressure. Oh, okay. Wow, a little bit of a trade there. I mean, it almost worked out for Gumi entirely. There, he almost took the stock off the top. But we'll have to see if Adrian's going to be able to put this pressure down. Uh, puts TNT way over there and just minecarts into the blast zone off the back air. They set themselves up for Gumi to really close that one out. Let's see, Adrian, with that grab over there, making some pressure on on Gumi. 
But Gloomy still still have some something over there. He still have that stuck, and I thought that he was going for that jab lock. But still, he is going to have more damage for Adrian. And careful with that because the Junke comes out. Yeah, they almost actually got a, a neat little combo there, dropping the anvil into the forward air. Wasn't able to get it. Uh, but the back air pressure was is going to be able to put Gumi onto their final stock here in game four. Gumi looking good, potentially a game five situation. But Diamond on board, we saw this last game, and Airdrian almost made it work. Okay, careful over there. This can change stuff. It's going to be a game five, or it's going to be everything for Gumi over here because Adrian wants to keep looking forward on the bracket. Oh, careful with that up smash. Now, oh, the, good, the good news was they were able to force that air dodge onto the other side of the wall there. Oh, God, no! He, he rolled towards Lucina, and the forward air will be able to force the game five. That's two games in a row now that we've seen Adrian almost close it out. And then some way, somehow, Gumi is able to get the final hit to, to close out the game. And now we're seeing a game five situation. One more chance. We'll see if they can make it work. And there he is, Gumi taking the game with the tip of the sword. He was not going to give give up over there. He still have a stream, and after a long time, Gumi is now looking some redemption here. After, well, he, he was playing some tournaments and he was not doing like uh, good stuff. But now here at the Chaludan Station, he's gonna do. He's gonna take to Adrian uh, to the fifth game and last for these two players. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll see how it works out right now. It's uh, kind of a little bit of back and forth here. I mean, we do see Adrian having a little bit of a lead, but that could very well disappear. But keeping good pressure at the ledge, kind of forcing Gumi into these weird scenarios where they have to dance around that TNT. Is that the stock? No, it won't be enough. Okay. I like that. I, I like what uh, Adrian is doing now for for the, for that that damage. Mm -hmm. All this all this stiff combo is not it's not that easy to, to build up. You need to know, to understand some situations over here. But Gumi, there's a punish. But I thought that it was gonna be the confirm with that backer. Still, Gumi still is is alive with him, But there is the backer again. Yeah, actually, uh, uh, they didn't get that first confirm, which is a little unfortunate, but they're able to get that minecart and honestly just pop them up just in time uh, right, to get into that back air as well. So great stuff from Adrian so far. It looks like, like they want to keep that pressure up, build up that damage, but we're going to see the Dolphin Slash actually get Lucina out of trouble. Okay. We're trying to get some stairs right there with that damage. That up B2 forward smash. Good option from Adrian and careful. Because the TNT was out on the stage. Oh, they could have they could have got a big punish on there. They could have closed out the stock, but I think they got a little too scared about the up smash. They were worried about getting caught up in the hitbox. Okay, careful. Gumi oh, needs a really good thing over there to take uh, Adrian's stock. And there he is. Uh, that was a falling upper, or it was... Yeah, yeah they dropped through the platform and threw uh, the upper out. Uh, honestly, a smart play. It gets you out of harm's reach. That you're not able to get punished unless they drop through with you. Uh, so you either hold shield and don't get the punish for it, or you just take the hit and die. And that's what ended up happening to Adrian. But they were able to answer back immediately, putting Gumi in the final stock, potentially, for their entire bracket. Unless they can find a way to turn this around. Okay. Hey, uh, Adrian with that uh, advantage over here. But you know that Lucina can do some combos, uh, it's, or it can break shields. But uh, Adrian still look pretty strong over here. Mm-hmm. Careful with those backers. Those backers are a uh, Adrian nightmare with Gumi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Trying to get that pressure on. Not gonna be able to get that hit that they need. Back throw off stage just to get some control. 65% too. And diamond and backup diamond just in case they need to make things again. The up smash won't be enough. But this is not looking good for Gumi. This might be the end of their run here. Uh oh. Careful yep. there, and oh. let's go all the way down. Bájate, papito, porque I'm going to take this game, and I'm going to steal a life on this bracket of the Cholulian Station. 